Um, they announced my name, Aibu Dino Club. It's fine. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Ma. But we know ourselves, so it does not. Um, depression is real. Um, yes, they don't know why we should jump into third mainland. So please clap for me. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fage. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Independence Day. Um, I'm happy that Nigeria is 59. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, unlike many of you, I'm actually happy that we well, are 59 because next year we'll be 60. And um, that's retirement age. So I think Nigeria will fold up and then we'll go to our original country. So happy Independence Day. I'm waiting for next year. Uh, but unlike many of you Nigerians, I believe in a new Nigeria. I strongly believe in a new Nigeria. It's just that uh, I don't believe it's here. I think it's in Canada. So we we'll have to go there and experience this new Nigeria. <laughs> but let me just tell you about myself a bit. I'm currently looking for a job. I'm saying this so in case you can help me. I have copies of my CV. I can send it to your email now. And I'm a very honest person. I don't like job interviews because they ask very crazy questions. I went for a job interview recently and they asked them, where do you see yourself in the next five years? I was very honest with the man. I said, Canada. I see myself in Canada. <laughs> I can't lie. I can't lie. I, I, I also don't like relationships. The way girls ask stupid questions in relationships. One girl asked me recently, so um, where are we going with this thing we're doing? And I'm like, Canada. <laughs> I'm very honest. I'm goal driven. I follow my goals in life. But uh, one thing annoyed me, right? So because of independence, a lot of people stay complaining about the youth of Nigeria. Saying things like, we're not really involved in the, um, in the running of the country. All of us are distracted by Big Brother. We're too busy watching Big Brother. And that's why all of us are voting that we did not vote in the election. I'm sorry, but Big Brother, in my opinion, is the only place where our votes actually count. So <laughs> why would we go and vote there? So I have a suggestion. If you know the INEC chairman, the next election, let's just make it easy. Carry all the candidates and put them inside the house. Just put them inside. At least we'll use our eye and judge them. We'll see. It's just that, okay, thank God, because Oga cannot run for third term. If not, when he reaches there, he will be head of house throughout. So they can just keep him in the other room. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Crazy stuff, man, crazy stuff. Just put over there a big brother. Shadi, they were Vic's Baba because, um, let me not say that because before another show where we follow, let me stop talking about Baba. Well, which is the camera that is working? Because this is Independence Day, so I'm going to say this. Um, Dino Mila is my mentor. And um, Shore Ray is also my mentor, so I'm going to say what I want to say about the government of the country. And I don't care about the consequence. Where is, which camera is working? Let me face the camera. That one, are we? Good. Is it on? Good. Recordo, Mr. President, I just want to tell you you are doing a good job. The way the country is going, we like it. We love you. And if you want to run for third term, please run. I am not too young to run, so I'm going to run to Canada. <laughs> but uh, yeah, crazy, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Ah, Nigeria, very amazing country. I also noticed something recently, right? Uh, I moved to Lagos very recently. That's three years ago. Uh, I say recently because I've not blown, so I need the story too. You know when, when you are trying to make it, you need a story. So you can tell people who have not made it the story. So, so follow me. I moved to Lagos three years ago. And I've noticed some things in my time in Lagos. I don't know about the rest of you, but I think there's a group chat where Lagosians discuss that all of them want to do fit farm. And they have not added me to that group. Because I don't know why on Sunday morning I was going from, I live on the island, by the way. Let me just add that part so people will know that. I don't, it's not as if I'm suffering like that, but I need help. Uh, so I was going from um, Lekki to Ikoi. Don't ask me what I was going to do in Ikoi, but I was just going there. And I noticed that everybody was jogging on the bridge. Like, everybody was jogging. It's not even that one that shocked me, because the way they are jogging, in my mind, is like rapture. They have changed the rules of rapture. They are not going to disappear again. It's run. We are going to run. 
So everybody's trying to get fit. What annoyed me was there was one man jogging on the bridge, but he was jogging in reverse. Like, I'm not joking. Everybody's jogging like this. And this man was jogging like this. So I'm like, okay, what's your direction in life? Like, what's your plan? Okay, in my mind, maybe he's like Elijah now. Okay, every other person will disappear from rapture. He will run backwards, the chariot will carry him, and he will take off. It's not that what is annoying me. It's those people that are jogging on Third Miller Bridge. Why are you jogging to? Because even me that is driving on Third Miller, the bridge is too long. Then you, you will not leave your house. In the world. I start jogging to the... How do you plan on getting back home? You will not reach the end. You will not order Uber and go home. Ah! What's this office for? It's not even those ones that vex me. The ones that vex me the most are those people that work on Third Mainland. Where are you coming from? You just start trekking on Third Mainland Bridge. Ah, for what? It's, it's annoying. A lot of things are annoying me in this Lagos. Um, another one that annoys me is these people that direct you how to park your car outside. Crazy people. Yes, I, I, I said that part so people know I drive too. Yeah. No, uh, but the only problem is I drive a Corolla. I don't know the year the Corolla was made because I think Toyota hasn't forgotten they made that car. Now, the problem with that Corolla is everywhere I go, people think I'm an Uber driver. So every time I stop, they're like, are you my Uber? I'm like, no! I went on a date with a girl. She thought I was the Uber driver. Baby, start the trip. Are you? Ah! And this is not the first time it's happening to me. When I was young, my father had a 504. You people are not thinking my father was rich that he has 504. He used, my father used to be rich uh, before, but I don't know what's happening now. And that's the only way I'm thinking I'll have money, but the man has refused to go, so don't record this part, too. My father should not see it. So my father had a 504, and uh, the 504, we were using it as taxi. But there was the time of the day that they used it as taxi. So the arrangement with the taxi driver, Mr. John, I remember his name, was that we would take the 504, and drop me in school in the morning. Then after they drop me in school, the driver of the 504 will go and do taxi and come back and pick me in the afternoon and drop me at home with the 504. So anytime we're going to school in the morning with our 504, they will take my nanny, drop her at the bus stop because she used to go to school too. Now this was the problem. People did not know the arrangements my family had. So when they stop at the bus stop, people now start jumping inside the 504 with me in my school uniform. The driver will not start explaining, it's not taxi yet, though. it's not taxi yet. Wait, it's not taxi yet. Uh, very crazy things with that 504. There was that 504. Mr. John came to pick me from school with the 504, no back seats. Ah! Okay, where's the back seat? He said, tax for seats, the back seat. Ah! That was, at least that was bad. He came with the car, but there was no back seat. There was a day Mr. John, my father's driver, came to pick me from school without the car. How are you the driver you come without a car? He said, uh, tax was the car. So why, what are you doing here? What's your plan? How, how are we going to get to me? I said, we'll use Okada and get home. But you don't have money for the Okada. So what will we not do? We now took Okada from my school. <laughs> Mr. John made me so far. <laughs> we now went to my auntie's shop. It's like the devil and my village people planned for us that day. My auntie parked from her shop the day before. We did not know where she parked to. So you now imagine a small boy with an old man in school uniform. We're not looking like people that were going to do ritual. We don't know where we're going to. I don't know how we got home that day, but I shall know we got home. Well, I'm sure that 504 story is gone. So back to my original story about my Corolla now. So now the people that park your cars in Lagos, I have a problem with them. I think there's a special place in judgment for them. Just now, I was trying to park. And uh, I realized that most of them don't know anything about parking a car. How many of you agree with me? People that direct, thank you, ma. You're a really nice audience member. Please put your hands together for her. Yes. Ma, we give you my CV as well so you can help me. Thank you. So this Buddha directs you how to park a car. If you notice, they don't know anything about parking a car. That's why you can be driving and they will start saying things that don't connect with car. The first thing you hear, Madam, reverse back, reverse back. Reverse back, reverse back. For those of you that went to school, which I believe is everybody here, if you are reversing, which direction do you go? You can reverse left, Abby. You think, okay, maybe that one is an error of literacy. They will now start saying other things, like they are selling meat or selling suya. Madam, cut your hand, cut your hand. <laughs> I said that one is not bad. They will now say something that's worse than that one. Madam, cut and full, cut and full. So now we're amputating hands, Abi. If you cut the full hand, how am I going to drive the car? Okay, now my problem with them is not all this. You can say, okay, maybe they are illiterate and they don't understand. 
parking a car. My problem as a Christian, I, I say this with pride, even though I don't go to church, but I'm, I serve God and God understands me. My problem is when they now start sexualizing parking a car. It's bad. It's, I don't like profanity. I mean, why would they be telling somebody's wife, Madam, turn your ass, turn your ass? What's the meaning of that? What was, what's that? Crazy stuff. I, you not think that that's the end. We are not children. You not think that that's the end. You not start in Nigeria where homosexuality is illegal. Do not start telling them, man, oh God, chuck your head, chuck your head. What? Ah, why? Crazy people, man. Very crazy people. Crazy people. Yeah, if you want to clap. <laughs> crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. I'm trying to see if I still have time. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, there are lots of people backstage. Yeah, my name is Fage, P H A G E. Christmas is coming. So, if you have Christmas party or official or something, you can hire me. <laughs> God bless you. Have a wonderful night, ladies and gentlemen.